Hi guys, welcome back to another Daily Tarot Card. These are your Daily Tarot Cards for Tuesday, November the 28th, 2023. Today we're pulling from the Wild Unknown Tarot Cards. So we're starting off with strength. Bravery, courage, strength, resilience. And I feel like this is like giving you courage, uh, encouragement, but I also feel like it's giving you confidence. I feel like some of us, especially with the full moon in Gemini, for some reason it's like this shadow energy being revolved around it. There's talk about the yin and yang of it. You know, we definitely get that with justice cards, but I feel like bringing in balance. And I feel like, you know, um, thankful for those people that are around us that sit there and give us encouragement that sit there and push us forward that it will allow us to uh see fact from fiction you know because i definitely feel like shadow has been really on the attack this could be energy being set your way this you know just transmute it don't send it back to sender we don't need none of that it turns into a back and forth just sit there transmute it and that's it you know hopefully it turns into love and light in the universe you know we have the ten of pentacles and i feel like this is unconditional love that surrounds you you know, you surround yourself with the right people. And I feel like this is like, you know, going, they're showing astrology answers where this is a yes card. So if something's happening or you're wondering something, we have the Empress card. And I feel like this is nurturing yourself or nurturing others around. You could be a little bit of both where it's just like, you know, until the waiting crescent here. And I feel like this is like being kind to yourself. I feel like, remember they were saying like burning out. So I, I feel like being mindful of that, you know, watch what you're saying, watch what you're doing, watch who you surround yourself with. You know, that you're doing this with positive energy. That you have the right people around you. You know what I mean? I feel like going toward, moving forward. I feel like with the Six of uh, Pentacles, I definitely feel like this is like Six of Wands energy. Where it's just like, you know, uh, Victor wearing the wreath. I feel like this is the young bloomings of something brand new. You know, we got the full card yesterday. So the bloomings of some brand new um life opportunity coming forward we're getting a lot of young blooming seedling energy you know definitely april energy you know with justice i feel like this is where balance is coming in i feel very libra energy liberating you you know from a lot of things like you know and i feel like this is a allowing you to move forward i definitely if you kind of like if you ever taken an art class and you see how it's come you're moving towards something you know so you're moving to this unknown you know, especially with the Ace of Pentacles here. You're being offered an opportunity. You know, Shadow Side will say, oh, you're not worthy. You're not going to get it, blah, blah, blah. You waste your energy. And it's like, no, whatever happens. That's why I'm so thankful for TikTok. You use it in a positive way, you will get positive results. So, you know, this uh, person came on. Um, I, I don't know if they reposted it, but it was just like, always tell yourself, whoever you live in, believe in, Yahweh, Yeshua, Gaia, Mother Earth, Divine Creator, Gaia, Mother Earth. Uh, I already repeated that um higher self um it's just like if i don't mention who you believe in that's totally fine i'm not trying to purposely leave them out i just you know like i just repeating myself it's just whoever you believe in your higher self it's just like you know believe and trust that like whatever is supposed to happen you know in my case i say you know no matter this i don't see it as a problem i feel like we're just waiting for an answer you know like she said if it's not this one it's the other uh, another one you know what i mean so it's like yahweh and you should already have the answer they've already resolved the problem you know what I mean? That's they have already solved it. I always say that TV went on. I'm like, they've already solved it. Like, you know what I mean? Like it's so easy to get caught up in energies that we cannot control. And it's a choice how we move forward. Are you going to sit there and be like, you know what? This is the situation that it is. Like I always share, like I'm very transparent because for some of you, this is relatable. I don't wish a grief journey on anyone. You know, it will tear you down and it's like how you move forward is up to you. Are you going to allow this to take you out? Are you going to get transfixed on this situation where you cannot see yourself move forward? I couldn't see myself moving forward. I just took it day by day, second by second. You know, 15 minutes felt like three hours. You know what I mean? Like, I understand that energy. But that Christmas that I didn't do up the tree, I'm like, my kids deserve better. This is not fair to the kids. This is not fair to myself. But more so my kids. The tree was completely naked that year. And I'm like, I refuse to live in this energy. I love Shane dearly. I still love Shane. I love and respect the crud out of him. But I cannot live in that energy. It's like it, it happened. I can't change it. All I can do is move forward. And day by day, you know. Sometimes I think about it a lot. Sometimes I don't think about it at all. Because I know I can't fix it. I can't change what happened, you know. The choices and decisions made is what led us here. So it is what it is, you know. I sit there. I, I can say that now. I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have said that back like when this all started 
you know, I was scared. And there is post-traumatic stress disorder with it. A lot of people, that's why I love watching some of these shows where it's like, this is where I feel like spirit is talking with you, speaking with you, your for you page, angel numbers, dreams, you know, watching the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. I, I know a lot of people hate Erica Jane, but I'm, she's real, you know? She's like, when it comes to finances, that stuff gives me post-traumatic stress disorder. It does. You know what I mean? I know money is still coming in, and I still get, you know, you know, about it, you know? It's just like, people that are so sweet and kind, and, and I, I can never, ever put into words, the, like, you know, the gratitude that I have. People I haven't even read for, you know, we just kiki and talk and... They're like, here, let me just send you a little something. I'm like, no, 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 no. Like, this is how we are. Like, don't worry about it. It doesn't cost me anything to be kind to you or to sit there and listen to spirit. Like, it doesn't, like, don't worry about it. They're like, nope, I got you. And they send it anyway. I'm just like, thank you so much. Like, you know what I mean? Like, those are the people I appreciate because it's not like, you know, I don't appreciate everybody because I know not everybody can, you know, can do that, which I totally understand. But that's why I treat people that I read for the way that I do because I was in those shoes. I've been to people where it cost a lot of money and it was nothing of like, you know what I mean? It, it, two, two times in a row. And I'm just like, you know what? I'm just going to sit there once a year or sometimes I'll just sit there. I'm like, I just, you know, I feel like there's something I should be told right now. And I write down everything and I'm like, okay, you know, whatever happens, happens, whatever, you know, you want in my path, Yahweh Yeshua is the way that I will go. You know what I mean? Like for me, I'm just thankful. I wish I was this confident when I'm in my 20s and just is like, you know what? This is the, the situation. Let's do this. Let's do that. Moving things in a positive direction. You know what I mean? Even when uh, Shane passed away, we were moving to New Brunswick, relocating. And I, sh I wanted, I knew where I was supposed to be. And I was just like, you know, I was so afraid that I was running on adrenaline that once everything got quiet, you know, that I would sit there and have a mental breakdown. By the grace of God, he, they never allowed that to happen. They tried to make it happen, but it didn't happen. You know? So I feel like every, I feel like right now, a lot of errors, I feel like a lot of situations, I feel like it showed us who we are, what we're made of, and just to believe, just to trust. Even though sometimes we don't believe it ourselves, it's like there's that something in us, which is our soul, is speaking to us. You are more powerful than you think. You know, like if you ever get those Halls, Halls lozenges, you will see you've been through tougher, you know, and it's encouraging you. It's like you've been through a lot worse than this situation and you came out on top. So this is nothing even compared to that. And you will come on top of this. Don't let little things sit there and uh, try and uh, take you down or try to waste your energy. You know, I tell that to my kids all the time. Don't waste your time in negative thoughts. Don't waste your time. When you notice someone is sitting there not returning the same energy that you're putting out, the biggest fault is expecting what you give them is that they're, what they'll return to you. You love people unconditionally. You you know what I mean? Everything comes from a thoughtful place. Like I could think of one situation. It's like for me, it's like this person sits there and makes handmade like Christmas gifts. For me, there is a lot more value in than that, even though it's not like a material value, but there could be, you know what I mean? Like if you really thought about it, it's just like that person thinks about who you are, what you like, and what would make you put a smile on your face. They're doing that out of love. I do that way with same with gift giving too. Sometimes I'm just like, well, you know, they're at a certain age, you know, cash or card is better, you know, like the gift cards. So I just like, I rather buy, I want you to buy something that puts a smile on your face. Buy something, maybe that money will go towards something you really wanted. You know what I mean? So that's the way that I see it. So, you know, the fact that people don't see the value in it, that's their problem. Even with myself, when it falls off the wall, because the tape gives and stuff like that, I put it in my art book. I put it in my Torah. I read my Torah every single day. Oh, well, except on Shabbat. Every single day I read my Torah. And there's pictures from years ago. My kids are like, when did I do that? I'm like, there's the year. Why do you think I put the year on there? I go look back, look at this brilliant drawing, you know, and I keep it in there. You know, they write me little notes. I love you and stuff on my computer. I keep them in there as well. It's less like they fall off eventually because the, the adhesive gives, you know. It's just like, you know, they took the time to write that. That's handwritten. You know what I mean? It's just like, it, Lisa Renna did that. They're showing Lisa Renna. Her mom had written something in her own handwriting and Lisa Renna kept that. She's like, this is, this is Lois's handwriting. She's like, I'm keeping that, you know. 
where a lot of people will see a lot of value in other things. Alan Thicke was really good at that. He's like, you know, my, my sister had all these belongings, you know what I mean? And he goes, you know, I remember her and her, these glasses. He goes, isn't that sad? And I'm like, yeah, we can't take these things with us, you know? But I feel like it's just like, don't sit there and, and, and look at gifts that are handmade or even baked cookies because they like, think about cookies, all the ingredients that went into that. And they took the time and cookies aren't like, you know, some people are like, oh, it's quick, but it's like, they thought, oh, you really like chocolate chip cookies. You always compliment my chocolate chip cookies. I think these are sugar cookies because they're like, because of the white or, um, butter cookies. They're showing kind of like the shortbread cookies. They're showing that I love shortbread cookies. They're not good for my butt, but you know, <laughs> that's why we work out during the holidays. But, um, it's just like, uh, you know, it's like, there's a lot of love in that. So don't always look at things as like, um, they have to have a, like a, a ticket value to them. You know, like I just saw a post on my for you page and it's just like, when you appreciate the value in a moment, that's where it really changes things forward. Like I value this, I value that. You know what I mean? My girlfriend simply saying, oh, they posted this, so I did it today. I was like, oh, is it there? She's like, yeah. I'm like, well, I'll do that tonight so I don't have to worry about it during the work week because I'm just fried from last week and over the weekend. You know what I mean? I'm like, I'm recuperating still. So it's just like, uh, you know, that was very kind of her to do that. I, I value her friendship so much because me and her have a lot in, uh, of situations in common, you know, and we are those fierce uh, parents that love out of, uh, just being a parent, you know, like we do it for our kids. You know, we don't see it as ours. We see it as the families, you know what I mean? And when you have that kind of love in a home, that's what really transforms the relationships that you have, you know, and may they bless, may they sit there and do the same when they have their own. And I, I was telling her that I said, what a blessing, you know, they say that we're born into our families and we're one. And I said, that's what I tell my kids, save your money. And then when you get married, you two can become one. Or if you guys decide to live with each other before marriage, whatever the situation is, but it's just like home is home. That will always be your home, no matter what, you know what I mean? But it's just like, you know, that's how I would like it. Doesn't say that's mean, that's what's going to happen, but I would like them to sit there and do that. Meet someone nice. And you know, like she was talking about her son who, who, how they met and everything. And I said, isn't that gorgeous? I said, look at the beautiful family. I said, because you and your husband set such a beautiful example and they see how you love, you know, how you do things, you know, with her, she went through a horrible situation and the kids thought of her, you know, mom really loves this. Let's do this for mom. You know, I love that. I think it's such a beautiful, what she told me. I was just like, you know, having amazing children is such a blessing, you know, what a blessing. You know, they don't think of themselves. It's the way that you raise them. It's like they, they're very selfless. They sit there and they're like, you know, they would like this. They would like that. That's what I'm saying. Those little things that they do, it's like you should feel, you know, exuberance about a love, you know, proud. I know they tell us not to be pr prideful, but it's like, you know, all the talking. Because sometimes you can talk and talk and talk and talk and they don't listen, you know. But when they do something like that, you're like, something I'm doing is right. Because this is the way that they are, you know. So it's just like, you know, be grateful for the things in your life and you will see how much more, no matter how small or how big, you know, it's just like, just be grateful for those moments. Be grateful that things turn out your way. You know what I mean? Because there were times where things didn't work out our way, you know, because it, unfortunately they had to remove some things to teach us a hard lesson and it's to become who we actually are sometimes, you know? So that's what I'm saying. Don't overlook things. Don't, don't overlook, overlook somebody, you know, always have that place, uh, you know, have that heart of gratitude of this, you know, people in your life that sit there and, um, you know, think of you or go out of their way to do things for you or put like a lot of love and light into it, you know? So it's just like, it doesn't have to have a dollar value all the time, you know, because sometimes things that are done for you are priceless. It's like, you can't even put a figure to it. And if you're so caught up in material things and you overlook that, it's like, you know, you're going to be surrounding yourself with the wrong people. Material things don't always solve the situation. You know, love, unconditional love and appreciation go a long way. So I hope you guys enjoyed these daily tarot cards for Tuesday, 
November the 28th, 2023. May the universe bless you good. We'll see you for the next Daily Tarot card. Bye.